The TRCA is part of the GTA, which is the Greater Toronto Area surrounding Toronto. We do a multitude of things, whether it's um, restoration works, whether it's erosion control, flood risk management. We have over 65 kilometers of shoreline for Lake Ontario that we are responsible for, but also adapting uh, existing communities. And so we have over 5 million people living within our jurisdiction, and we need to protect them and their homes as well as the environment. Our mission goes back to the roots of the Conservation Authority movement. So it was really about building an organization that could work with our communities to protect, restore, and enhance the natural resource within our city region. And we do that through partnerships. Our vision is for the living city, which is a place where communities can flourish together, that respects and integrates natural resources and a vibrant economy together as one. The SNAP program is Sustainable Neighbourhoods Action Program and it's an amazing program where we go into communities and we find ways that we can retrofit or make the area more sustainable. So basically in 2014 they were, they were going to do some redevelopment within the neighbourhood and as part of that construction the TRCA stepped in and they worked with the city to say while you guys are kind of ripping up the asphalt and the road itself we are able to install these bioswells. Along the line there too is they added a lot of diversity in terms of urban plants and having the walkway there a little bit more beautified. When I look at where County Court is now and I think to myself while well, I grew up in a very different environment but within the same neighborhood. I am very happy because I can say to myself that there's younger kids who were in my shoes at one point who have a space now to enjoy. Back in 2012 timeframe, we saw an article in the newspaper where TRCA was looking for people to apply to take part in a green home makeover. Part of the green home makeover was improve the structure of the home, the, the home envelope and in doing so, lessen our impact on the environment. At the end of the whole exercise, it was in fact proven that we had lessened our energy consumption by over 43% and our water consumption by 41%. It takes that one homeowner, one house at a time to make that difference. And the way we deal with urbanization is really through a couple of different lenses. Our approach is to bring people together in places like this, like the Courtright Center or the Archetype House, to have a conversation about what it should be and what it could be, and then working together to try and realize that vision. This house is a great example of that. The whole principle behind it in building a sustainable archetype house it had to be relatively affordable. So it also had to achieve advanced goals related to sustainability with the building environment. And the most important thing is it had to look like you wanted to live in it. Some of the pieces that are really amazing is that this is a research house as well. So we've got some really cool technology built into it. The way it was designed is that we could plug and play new technologies and evaluate their performance within a residential setting. Partners in Project Green, which is our eco-business program, is another fantastic example of that, which is really driven by industry. Partners in Project Green is an eco-collaboration of the businesses in and around the Toronto Pearson employment area. The partnership with the Toronto Region Conservation Authority provides us with a lot of expertise on uh, environmental matters and they connect us with other organizations. Environmental issues uh, don't just exist within a bubble, within one company. Uh, organizations have to work together for the, the common good of the environment. We need to be leaders and there needs to be a consistent voice when it comes to environmental issues and threats. It's important to have organizations like conservation authorities that really champion for development and champion for the environment at the same time. So the new headquarters is uh, an exciting initiative and we always feel that we should be leading by example. The building's located on the edge of the Black Creek Ravine and it's been designed to integrate with the ecology of the ravine from the landscape plants that we've selected to put on the sites and we're even bringing some of those themes into the building itself. So the design team tried to make everything out of wood, even the elevator cores, the envelope of the building itself, all of these features ended up being wood design, which provides an aesthetic and attractive building, as well as reinforces all the carbon and other greenhouse gas emission reducing elements. There's always more work to do. And I think that as climate change is evolving, so is the skill set of our staff. I think that we just have to be progressive uh, and we have to be forward thinking and solution oriented. The importance of the work that the TRCA does in summary would be ensuring our safe drinking water and the clean air around us. And those are two pretty significant life necessities 
that the TRCA, with their skilled staff, have the ability to preserve and protect for future generations.